here is a question for you the question is saying find the exact value of sine 570 degrees so what it means there is that when you have sine 570 we are trying to come up with special angles we know that the special angles we should have they want us to find without using a calculator we need to find the exact value of sine 570 so we use we always use the special angles so special angles we have they start from 0 uh, we have 30 we have 45 we have 60 yeah you can also include 90 but in most cases we are going to be dealing with these three okay so now what we have to understand there is whenever you have been given the angle which is greater than 360 what we know that the angles they are supposed to start from zero or the way the range is supposed to be zero less than or equal to x then less than or equal to what 360 that is the range now what we have to do here is whenever you have been given the angle which is greater than 360 you have to subtract by 360 until this angle is supposed to be in the range of 0 to 360 okay let's say you have been given maybe something like 700 degrees so you have to say minus 360 if it if you do minus 360 then it doesn't fall in this range you do again minus 360 okay so in this case we have got 570 so this 570 what we are going to do is we're going to say that 570 degrees minus 360 degrees so what is 570 minus 360 60 is 210 okay is 210 so we know that 210 is in the range of 0 to 360 so what we are going to do there meaning that we have now sine 210 degrees now we have to find the terminal angle for this 210 so what we're going to do is we're going to have this we know that this is found in the third quadrant so in the third quadrant we're going to say that it is somewhere here okay or let me redraw it it is here so we know that the angle from this line all the way to this line it is a 210 but we want to find the terminal angle terminal angle is the angle between the x-axis and the point of interest so our point of interest is this terminal angle which you have here okay so from here all the way to there that is our terminal angle so we have to say we know that from this point from this line here all the way to this line is 180 so to find this part we are going to say that a 210 minus 180 which is going to give us a 30 meaning that now we are trying to find sine 30 okay sine 30 degrees now we know that sine 30 is 1 over 2 so sine 30 is 1 over 2 but we have to check we are talking about it 210 is in third quadrant in the third quadrant is sine positive or negative sine is positive only in the first quadrant and the second quadrant in the third quadrant sine is negative meaning that the answer is going to be negative I'm supposed to put negative so it's going to be sine 30 is going to be equal to negative 1 over 2 now to find to write the final answer what you have to say is we are going to say that sine 570 degrees is equal to negative 1 over 2 so this is the answer this is the exact value of 570 okay